Persona 5 is one of the coolest looking games of all time. I think it's safe to say that. The game is stunningly stylish, and I loved what I played when it released on PlayStation 3 and 4 a few years back. So, of course, we were so excited by the prospects, the rumors, the hints that Persona 5 was coming to Switch. And this week they revealed uh, the expanded edition of Persona 5, the Royal Edition, the new character, looking pretty awesome, coming to PS4 in 2020. And we were waiting with bated breath for today's announcement where they unveiled Persona 5 for Switch. And they unveiled Persona 5, but it ain't the RPG game. It is the Musu game, Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers, catching everyone off guard, and let's be real, disappointing most of us. Yes, we are bummed. Zach, I've been waiting to play Persona 5. I think at this point, maybe I just go get the cheaper version or maybe even wait the year until the Royal version comes out for PS4 because yeah. it doesn't seem like proper Persona 5 is coming to Nintendo Switch. And this is still like cool, right? If you're a fan of the series and you already played the other one, this is a brand new game. So this is probably infinitely more exciting than it just being on Switch. But for someone like me and kind of you, since you played it a little bit, but not really we didn't experience the game i was excited to be able to play it on nintendo switch i was convinced that the s stood for switch that is indeed not what it stood for unfortunately and uh yeah this isn't what i wanted i am disappointed zach i really am it stands for scramble and this to me is a weird scramble yeah it's it's an action rpg yeah some people really love the the, the warriors um series hyrule warriors you know definitely has its fan base um fire emblem warriors Ugh. I think it's weird on a number of fronts, because to me, it wouldn't it have been simpler to just port over the 2016 game to Switch? And wouldn't that have been much more of a a big get for Nintendo? Wouldn't they have wanted to orchestrate but, that sort of a deal? But this isn't Nintendo, this is Tecmo. And they wanted to make the game, I guess. This is an Atlas and Tecmo Koei collaboration, and this is a brand new game that, again, you get to sell to a much wider audience, including the people that already love Persona 5. You get to put this on PlayStation 4 as well. A Switch port was just going to be a Switch port, and right. maybe you lose some of the audience there because they already played the game, and, and you know, they'd rather wait for the Royal version. Is it Royal or Royale? It doesn't matter. Not Royale. It's not a Battle Royale. Nope. Nope. No, nope. Cool. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's not. Uh, some of the screenshots for this Persona game look like a Battle Royale. But regardless, so many enemies coming at you. I don't know. This, this... I can see why they did it. And it's a completely different company, like, making the game. So... But it's still Atlas. It's still Atlas in partnership. Yeah, but... but I, it's I just a, find it odd. You know, this we, is being developed by Tecmo, though. It's not being developed by Atlas. You don't have the the origins of, of Joker and crew, but you have this expanded offshoot. I mean, yes, Joker's in Smash Bros., which is great, but it's to me it's a bit odd to sell this game to an audience that, if you're a Nintendo hardcore fan, you haven't played Persona 5, and I would have so much rather that been the situation, and I think that's kind of the thread I've seen across the internet today is like, okay, cool, it's a new game, but why not just... The RPG. You know, we are supposed to be getting SMT5 at some point on Switch. Maybe Atlas wants to keep the traditional RPG focus there. Hopefully we get some word of that at some point soon. It's been dormant for so long. I just find it to be a bit of a bummer because I was so, like, on a personal level, I was so looking forward to, and I never finished Persona 5 on PlayStation. I was intentionally not going back to it. I have the game sitting right here because with all the Joker hype, all of the the buzz around these reveals, like, I want to get back in and beat the game, but I was like, no, I will wait, I'll play it on Switch, it'll be awesome, maybe there'll be some some enhancements, if not, I can just at least take it portably. That does not seem to be in the cards whatsoever. So now it's like, okay, I guess, like you said, like, do we just wait now for Royal next year? Do we go get, you can get Persona 5 very cheap on PS4, you just go grab it cheap and play through it that way. Okay, a couple other things that I wanted to point out, point out just by looking on the on the Persona 5 Reddit. You know, someone saying that their, you know, main concern is a roster size. I, since I've never, like, played a ton of it, like, those games usually have a ton, a ton, a ton of characters. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Other people just, like, bummed that, like, hey, whatever you're a Persona fan and you are playing on Xbox, why is this coming to Switch, PlayStation, but not Xbox? Like, I don't know. It, there seems to be some disappointment all around in, in various forms, and I don't know. Maybe I could still be excited for this game if 
I play Persona 5 because this isn't coming anytime soon. We don't have a date. We don't have like a year. We don't have a window of any kind for when it's happening. We just know that it's happening. No. Yeah. I mean, typically we champion new games and typically we say that we'd like to keep ports at a minimum. I, I think this one was a specifically different case because it was only available on the PlayStation side of things. So it had a limited or at least a somewhat limited audience and it would have been great to get a major new-ish but still holds up phenomenal because of the fantastic art style and relates very well to Joker being Smash. Game on the console, so this to me is a, a specific scenario where the port would have been much more welcome than this. They love to expand their Persona titles, uh, whether it's in you know, fighting games, rhythm games, now, now warrior style uh, action games. But yeah, I I don't know. What, what are you guys' thoughts out there in the comments? Let us know. Are you bummed? Were you waiting for Persona like us, and, and now you're gonna have to go play it somewhere else? I don't want to miss the game, Gabe. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to not see it all the way through. Yeah. It was phenomenal when I started. I just wish that I could take it with me. Instead, now I'm handcuffed, ball and chained to my television, like a like a console player <laughs> from yesteryear. Uh, I, I, for me, the big takeaway, Zach, is I can't believe it's been so long since Persona like came out. Like it feels like yeah, just 2016. Yeah, it feels like just yesterday that the game was like being like released and people were hyped for it, and now it's just like been like three years basically. I'm like, what? Where did this time go? Four years. Four years between Persona Five and Persona Five Royal. Gosh. That is kind of crazy. And three years of and, year in Japan. And, I just want to be clear about that. We know yeah. that it's out earlier in Japan. Yeah. We're aware. It's out this yeah this year in Japan. But yeah, and and in none of those years is the game releasing <laughs> um, on an, on another platform, which is a bit of a bummer. And I, I don't think that oh this is a case where it comes later or something. I think this yeah, was no. their yeah. their moment, and this is what you're getting. Scramble they did. And uh, I feel like a scrambled egg because of it. All right, give us your take in the comments down below, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day for myself and Gabe. Switch Force, out.